The information in this module is accurate and complete to the best of our knowledge. All recommendations are made without guarantee on the part of the author or the sponsoring institutions. The author and the sponsoring institutions disclaim any liability in connection with the use of this information. Bioinformatics Thinking Modern bioinformatics is devoted to the designing and implementing computational solutions for answering an ever-growing set of questions in molecular biology. This lecture is a brief introduction to the bioinformatics way of thinking. Describe the main features of bioinformatics as a field of science and engineering. Explain the main differences between deterministic and empiric model. And recall the elements of reproductible research. Every theory in the natural sciences begins with observations and data collection. Here is an old attempt to save data from astronomical observations. And this is one of the most recent attempts to save data from the human genome. Since the time of the Babylonians, we have made great strides in our ability to obtain and preserve data. Our ability to obtain, save, and organize data has grown along with technological advances. Current technologies for data collection and storage are so efficient that they often exceed our ability to process data. And that is the biggest problem. Without sufficient capacity to analyze them, the data are basically useless. Developing such capacity is a driving force behind the development of bioinformatics. Bioinformatics is more an extension than a radical change in the investigation of molecular biology phenomena. The foundations of molecular biology continue to be observation, experimentation, and interpretation. The design of an experiment should mitigate the uncertainties as much as possible. Without proper experimental design, bioinformatic analysis has little meaning. Usually, the data to be processed comes from a diversity of sources and experiments and therefore, its integration is a first step in many analyses. Such data should then be treated with algorithms that are appropriate to the particularities of the data and the insights sought or used in models that describe essential aspects of the phenomenon under study. There are many types of models, but among them, the two types that appear more frequently in natural sciences are deterministic models, which provide a full mathematical description that is capable of reproducing the exact process output of any given input and the empiric models. An empiric model does not describe a process but the variations of its outcomes through a set of probability distributions. Most models in molecular biology are indeed empirics. Unlike deterministic models, the output of an input to an empiric model is probabilistic. Here is an example of a deterministic model. By collecting data from astronomical observations, Galileo and Kepler laid the foundation of a deterministic model of planetary motion. The model was completed by Newton. Newton's equation involved no probabilities. The model predicts the exact position of the planets in any planetary system. In contrast, this is an example of an empiric model that is used to represent the evolution in time of a set of gene expressions. As in many other instances in natural sciences in molecular biology, deterministic models are adequate at macroscopic level, but inadequate at microscopic level, where experimental evidence shows stochastic fluctuations in the measurements. Letter P represents a probability distribution extracted from several observations as a consequence of P the gene expressions predicted by the model are probabilistic. Algorithms and models result mainly from the collaborative work of two groups of scientists. One of them is bioinformatics scientists. 
A bioinformatic scientist is a life science specialist who researches in problems or works with problems closely related to the transformation of information in biotic systems. The second group is that of bioinformatic engineers. This is a computer science engineer that develops software system solutions for bioinformatic data processing problems. Bioinformatic engineers require assistance with characteristics of data and data transformation in biological systems and the ability to design algorithms whose specifications are frequently intuitive and imprecise. Both groups share a base set of skills and attributes, each at different levels of depth. Some training in statistics and computer science is the first. As data scientists, bioinformatic professionals must be aware of the fact that the first guess, no matter how sound and credible it might look like, might be absolutely wrong. Guesses are tested with experiments, and experiments may not provide definite answers, but they should at least suggest a good research question, a new exploration path. In this context, bioinformatics is presented with two main challenges, namely establishing the degree of similarity between two observed sequences and describing the mechanisms behind the transformation of the data. Here are examples of both. Some questions that arise when dealing with these problems are, what are the metrics of similarity? How much precision is required? how much background information is needed. And when it comes to modeling, what is the appropriate type of model? What is the level of detail that is needed? What is the predictive power of the model? Addressing these problems demand not only a knowledge of statistical tools, but a sound criteria on how and when to use them. This is the so-called statistical thinking the selection of an appropriate algorithm is as crucial as the choice of the analytical tools. Bioinformatics datasets are huge and diverse, and data transformation problems are too complex to admit simple, uniform solutions. As a result, not all bioinformatic algorithms are the same, even if they address the same problems. Bioinformatic practitioners must select the algorithms that better fit each particular data transformation. And there is plenty of choices. Efforts to improve data processing methods creates an exponential growth in the numbers of algorithms. As an illustration of this diversity, the table shows an approximate count of different algorithms for genome assembly that have been produced between 2003 and 2014. Replication by independent investigators using independent methods, data, instruments, and laboratories of scientific findings is the main way to validate them. In order to do that, all data used in the experiment must be made available. Clear and detailed descriptions of the analytical and computational methods used must also be available. Along with the methods themselves, use well-established distribution methods. Bioinformatics is ultimately a collective work and effective communication is an essential factor in its development and progress.